So that's the way it is. Now, what I've done since 2005 uh, is I have focused entirely on quality. And people hate me in low performing schools because I point them out and call them out on the table. And I have today uh, my hands on the latest statewide PCs for every school in the state. Every fall I spend about a month of my spare time looking at every math score in every and reading score in every classroom in three through eight in the state. And I look at every high school score in the state, not just the PC, because the problem is reading. And that's where I am today, literacy. When you take a child in the third grade who cannot read, they are screwed. And you know it and I know it. You can't catch up. If you come into third grade reading on a first grade level, you're not going to catch up. Even if you've got the greatest reading teacher in the world, she can't catch you up or he can't more than half a year, even if in the best of times. So I've gone all the way from screaming at high schools to screaming at pre-K, K through three. That's where I'm looking. In the eighth grade, I looked this morning, I was talking to Burley, and I looked at the, at the reading, the really shocker. I, I'm concerned about the black males because they are our most vulnerable group. And statewide in reading in the seventh grade, our black students were only 49.7% proficient in the seventh grade last year. In the eighth grade, it was 51% proficient. And I go back to the third grade, and 51% proficient, five out of 10. How can these children ever get an equal opportunity to a sound basic education if they can't read? Now, they can do math. You look at the math, and math is wonderful, but you know what? Y'all are killing them by giving them the dadgone calculators. <laughs> you laugh, but I have, I have people in Bertie County that have told me, why, I said, why can't your children do algebra? And the teacher said, Judge, they can't add and subtract and divide and multiply in the head. She said, they can take that calculator, and it's like a video game. They can do anything in the world on that calculator, but they don't know that 15 times 15 is 225. They don't know that 6 times 6 is 36. They don't know how to do a logarithm and divide. They can't do fractions, and they can't add in the head. 7 and 8 is 15. That is not in their DNA because they've got that crutch that the educators have decided that, and sure, their math scores are up, but so what? If you can't read, you can't have reading comprehension, you're doomed. I had a principal tell me last year down in Greene County uh, that, and superintendent, they take the eighth grade reading test and they, they get a paragraph to, to, with comprehension and it's to close it up because they don't have the reading comprehension skills. They don't read. That's the challenge. And when y'all get them, the ones that are like that, you've got to build their, and you got to build them up from scratch because the mortars, the DNA on reading comprehension isn't there. And y'all are doing a wonderful job. Now I've got one great success story I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to be quiet. Last year, I was visiting schools, which I do in the fall. And I never tell them I'm coming. And if they don't have a heart attack, uh, the superintendent doesn't have a heart attack, we have a visit because I've got the scores. So I did two things. I went to Northampton County after I left Halifax, which is depressing. And 
went over there and I said, where's the brand new, where's your central office? And they said, we don't have any money in Northampton County. Well, the policeman said, oh, it's hidden. You can't find it. But if you go up that road about three quarters of a mile, you'll find the new central office. And it was beautiful, brand new structure. So I went in and I told the secretary, what do you call it, administrative assistants now, AAs? I said, I'm Judge Howard Manning, Jr., and I'd like to see the superintendent. Yes, sir. She said, I said, is he here? He better be here. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. She said, he's here. So she picked up the phone and got him, Dr. So-and-so, Brace is his name, great guy. Dr. Brace said, Judge Manning's here. No, I'm not kidding. He's right out front. <laughs> And damn if he didn't, he was flying down the hall in his shirt. <laughs> but the, the, those are visits that are not very comfortable because I'm telling them that children aren't reading and they need to do something about it. Then I found Green County, oh, Jones County. Everybody's been through Trenton to the beach. You know where that is? Then you go out of town, there's an old mill pond, then there's a liquor store, then the hardware store then the Trenton, the Jones County Civic Center, which is like the one in Halifax County. And you get on down the road about a quarter of a mile and there's this brick pre-integration pre high school called Jones Senior High. And by five years ago, they were a 51% PC. Last year, they were 88. This year, they're 88.9. I said, I'm going out there because somebody's, I want to know what's going on. So this horrible old, the, super, the superintendents, the principal's office been flooded the previous Friday. They said, you can go out there, but he's not gonna be in his office. I said, well, he's not supposed to be in his office. Principal's supposed to be in the classroom, not sitting in their office doing paperwork. So I got out there, got out of the car and walked in. There was this little room that looked like the assistant principal's office. And there were three people in there, a student and a little tiny black guy with a British tie on and a vest. And then this big old white guy. And I, they waved to me and I went in and, and this man came up and said, I'm Patrice Mabanga, the principal. And this is my assistant principal. And then they brought in a six foot tall blonde girl for, who was the instructional coach. And they were the leadership team, and they had taken that school, which was about 70% free and reduced lunch, and uh, high poverty from 60-something two years earlier to 88. Now, you think about it. How many of you got an 88? I know the one in Union County is 98 point something, but how many of you have got an 88 PC? And you've got a lot of the cream of the crop. What happened is that this leadership team decided that they were going to turn this school around and they got students began to believe in themselves. High expectations, right? Number one every day. They believed in themselves. And guess what happened? The community began to believe in themselves. And any time they needed money, they'd have a barbecue. And everybody would come, black, white, Mexican, wherever they came from, they would show up. And these children stay after school. The parents uh, want them to stay after school. The students want to stay after school. And this place is, is a Cadillac in a, in a 1958 dump building. So it's not, as Jay Robinson said, I can teach a child on a log. But these people have done a magnificent job. So it, no matter how hard you think it is, I think about Jones County Senior High because this is somebody you would never believe riding by that school building that it could ever amount to a Royal Pence. And it all starts with the classroom teacher and the leadership in the principal's office. And it doesn't have, you don't have to have a Cadillac school building for a child to learn what they need to learn. Thank you.